many eggplants so we have plenty of uh, aubergine to harvest today this is huge this is big this is a monster uh, if you're wondering what we would do with all these chilies it's so heavy <laughs> i hope you guys are having a great summer holiday we've been on the road for past week and we've had an amazing time we visited some of the most beautiful places in the uk we visited isle of wight we visited wales and the beautiful town of canterbury i'm really glad to be back in our garden to find a lot of our vegetables are ready for harvesting so today we're going to be very busy harvesting a lot of our vegetables we're going to have lots of fun because i love harvesting vegetables we'll be harvesting Bangladeshi flat beans, squash, bitter gourd, snake gourd, butter gourd, plenty of aubergines and lots of chilies. Plenty of chilies. And we'll be showing you our biggest bottle gourd of 2021, our biggest lao of 2021. Hello and assalamu alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Assalamu alaikum. We've got so many vegetables ready to be harvested. I'm going to start off with the Bangladeshi flat beans. Oh, these are beautiful looking uh, flat beans. These are Bangladeshi flat beans or Hyceniate beans. These are edible. The, uh, it's best uh, if you harvest them uh, tender and they taste really nice with your you can fish, make them curries. fish curries and bhaji with them. There we go. Look at those uris. Let's put these in the basket. What other ones are ready? Oh, 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 These the, ones. The large ones, yes. Just grab them, I keep. I'm going to hold this for you. There we go. These ones are really big. Yeah, this one ready to be harvested. Yep. They're, li they're nice with hoi fish. I really like the bhajis that we make with these uris. These ones, I can't yes, reach this one. Fine. Look, look, look out for them. I can see quite a few over oh, no, there. I, can I probably see them. have to do them. Yeah, I can't reach those ones. And I see a few big ones here. All right, let's just pinch them out. And there's a few on top over there. Put in the basket. Yes, I can see them here. Oh, that's plenty here. Whoa, you have quite a lot there, Dad. There's quite a lot in here, yes. It's best to harvest them when they're tender. They taste really nice when they're tender. These are the white flat beans. And Dad, we got a lot to harvest. A lot more than I expected. Yeah, there's a lot of white beans here, okay? All right, let's carry on harvesting. Okay, wow. We left these ones to mature so we can make some delicious hoki shira with them. Yeah, the ones with uh, a few seeds in there, um, they, they taste better with hoki shira, shira, don't they? They taste delicious with it. Mm. Don't eat all your uris. Save some for seeds for next year. Leave some on the plant so the seed hardens. Yes, something like this one. These um, the seeds are hardening harden, in this one. Yeah. We're going to keep them on the plant and let them dry. So we're going to keep them for seed for next year. These ones are also hardening. So okay, I think we'll just leave the uris now. We have plenty more to harvest. Yeah. But we're not going to harvest them all uh, together. The always took all the space in the basket. <laughs> yes. All right. So what should we harvest now? Aubergine? Yes. Let's harvest aubergine. Let's harvest some aubergine. We have many eggplants. So we have plenty of uh, aubergine to harvest today. These are beautiful looking round aubergine. And these are the long aubergines. But a few different varieties. Look at these beauties. Don't they look beautiful? Wow. We've got so many to harvest. Okay, okay, let's start. Come on. I'm really excited to harvest these aubergines. Whoa. Wow, look at this. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Just growing, harvesting and eating your own vegetables and your own aubergines. 
is so satisfying. Let's harvest this one now. And now this is the long aubergines. I like this one. Yeah, me too. I like all types of aubergines. Look at this. We'll leave these ones on for a little longer. Yes, we got three more plants, but I think this should be enough for today for aubergine. It looks like a smiley face, look. It does. There's a few more aubergines over there. I think we should harvest them. I yeah. think they look quite large, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay. These ones are ready to be harvested. Yes, these are planted into the ground. Uh, they look quite big. Yeah. And I've got a few more here. These are different varieties. These are the Bangladeshi green um, bagun, um, bangun they call it. It looks really nice. They're coming up nicely. But I think we'll harvest the other two. Yeah, let's harvest those. Just harvest the inside. large one. Yeah, The large one I keep. Can you manage? Yep, I see it. You see that? Yep. Take your time. There All right, go. pass me that. Oh, I'm stuck in here. <laughs> now, while you're there, I think we should harvest that bottle gourd. What do you think? Yes, let's do this. Now, there are a few more here behind you, but I don't think they're Ready. We're going to leave them on the plant for a little longer. Yes, there yep. are. There's one more at the back. Over here. So we're getting plenty of uh, bottle good this year. At one time I felt we we're not going to get any bottle good. Yeah. Because a lot of our plants died. And this is one of the trailers we made um, from a garden furniture. And we planted this bottle good right at the end. And mashallah, we had plenty of bottle good yeah, from it. We, had... we already harvested five bottle good from this plant. Yeah. Okay, while you're here, Kim, let's, let's uh, harvest, harvest that this. one. Oh, it's so bushy here. Can you manage? Yep. Let me hold it from the bottom. Oh, I need to hold it here. Yeah, just hold it there. Oh, oh. it's so heavy, this one. <laughs> wow. I'm All stuck. Right. Let, let, let me come and help you. Dad, you need to take this. I'm stuck here. Oh, let me come. Oh, wow. It's heavy, isn't it? It's very heavy, yes. Yeah. Oh, isn't that amazing? Satisfying. Dad, I think we should leave this hodu on the plant for a few more days. It still looks tender. I think, it's, yeah, it still looks very tender, actually. Yeah, we'll leave this on uh, the plant for another couple of days. Uh, still growing, yeah. okay? We have another hodu coming here. Yeah, there's plenty. I can see a few more. A few more there. There's more there. There's few on top there. All right, we'll come back to bottle wood in a minute. Let's go to uh, get some sis in there. I think we should harvest these cicindas, these snake woods. Oh, these are beautiful looking cicindas. Yes, um, really, they are. This year, first time we are growing cicindas inside the greenhouse. And mashallah, we've planted them in a really small pot. Let me show you the size of the pot here. This is a very small pot and we've done really well with our cicindas. We're getting quite a lot. Yes. So we've done really well with our cicindas. All right, should we harvest harvest this fat looking one? Yeah. Can you manage? Yeah. Just I just uh, cut it just over there. Well, I need to get a better angle on this one. Yeah, you need the right angle. Let me let me help you. Hold this is enough for me. All right, so that's it. Snip. Good. That's one. That's one chubby cicinda. Yes, and I think we should. Harvest this one also. I'll harvest that one. Okay. There we go. All right, that's good. All right. Should we harvest this cinder over here? I think we leave the other two on. We can't eat too many at the same yeah. time. All right, let's move on to the cucumbers. Look at this amazing cucumber growing. Just from one plant, we had more than 40 cucumbers. And look at the size of these cucumbers. 
amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Beautiful. And I, I'm so happy, so proud, so satisfied. And this is my upside down chili growing. And it's done well. It's getting quite a lot of chilies there. I'm going to move that, I keep. I'm going to move that and I'm going to keep it just there. I need to move this chili plant. All right. Get... Look at this beautiful cucumbers. All right. Shall we harvest? I really cucumbers. want to harvest that cucumber. All right, huge. Can, can you manage? Let me just move this plant out of the way for this. It's a bit crowded in here. Yep. And look at this amazing looking chilies. Okay, now I could get in. I'll harvest this one first since it's close uh, to This me. one, um, we're going to keep it for seed. Don't eat everything, keep some for seed. So we're going to keep this one for seed. Okay. All right, so I think I'll harvest. It's all. <laughs> All right, let me. All right, that's one. That's one. All right, just hold on to stay there. Let me come to you. Let me put that down. You give me this cucumber here. Do you want to harvest? This Do you want to harvest? One, Can you manage with this one? Here. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow, this one Whoa. looks heavy. It is heavy. This is. <laughs> Heavyweight, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the size. Let me do some weights with it. <laughs> These are heavyweight cucumbers. Amazing cucumber growing. All right, should we do maybe one more? How about this one? Let me just put this. Yep, let's do that okay. one. Okay, this one. I need to be careful here. Be careful, Akiv. Okay? Whatever you do. Ouch, so spiky. Oh, wow. There we go. All right, three so down. I think three should be enough. All right. And we will leave the rest to harvest for another time. Okay, Should with, we this, harvest with this with this bottle gourd, I think we're going to keep this one for seed for next year, and this one we will harvest. Yes, it's best to harvest them nice and tender. So harvest this one, I keep. Let me get back in there. Can you manage? Yep. Let me cut it right at the top. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> That looks beautiful. This it is, is really satisfying. This isn't is, it? It, these are perfect for growing inside your greenhouse. They're not too big. These are perfect. I like I like them. Well, if, remember when my mum made a delicious fish curry with this? It tasted so delicious. If you want to know how to cook your bottle gourd, uh, we made a great video on how to cook your bottle gourd. We'll leave the link in the description down below. Or you could click the eye up here and it will take you straight to that video. So get we're getting more bottle gourd and I want to show you something this this bottle gourd plant here we didn't have space to put it it's in a very uh, small pot and guess what I keep oh it's producing <laughs> we have producing bottle gourd yeah and it's got nothing to trail on to we need to put something uh, like a bamboo cane yeah there's a um, cheeky slug, slug there I'm not going to touch that one because it's yeah. a bit slimy I need gloves or something for this what else next? Uh, should we go for that uh, bitter gourd? Yeah. Let's let's, let's kill that bitter gourd. This Kerala is pretty tall. Can I you, okay, can I do it? I can you do manage? It. Yep. I have to be on my tip tiptoes. That's it. There we go. Wow. Nice and big. Smells so bitter and fresh. Yes. Wow. Look at this. We need a few more baskets. <laughs> baskets. Look at this beautiful harvest. All right, I'm going to show some chilies. Now, if you're growing chilies, I bet you haven't seen nothing like this. Look at this amazing chili growing. And this is not just one plant. We have many, many plants. Dad, what should we harvest next? Should we show everyone our biggest bottle gourd of 2021? Yes, I think we should. Um, we, ha we have many bottle gourds here. They're producing plenty. These are oh, Mishti Lao. Laos. And these are those um, apple gourd I planted um, uh, this plant in a container. Now, somebody asked me, how big should your container be for your bottle gourd? The bigger, the better. This is a very big um, container. I don't know how big this is, but it's, it's very big so use a big container 
if you're using containers. Bangla roots like to spread out, so use a big container. All right, so let's move to the biggest biggest bottle, bottle gourd of 2021. Now, if you have missed our uh, tomato harvest, we had a fantastic year for tomato this year. This is um, the only plant left, and we have plenty of tomatoes on it. Okay, behind you is our Whoa. biggest bottle gourd. Wow, look at this. It's a giant. Look how big this is. There's one behind that also. Yeah. This bottle gourd is humongous. Just look how big this is. All right, let me come round to you. Whoa, I just don't want to drop this. This is going to be... Okay, so look. This is huge. This is big. This is a monster. And I have another one just behind, behind that. It, now, we've been growing this variety for a good few years. Oh, this is it's well over 12 kilos. Yeah. Let me... can, can you manage? Whoa, that is really heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is well over 12 kilo. This is big. Now, we're not going to be harvesting this one. We're going to keep this one for seeds. Uh, you can't eat all your vegetables. You must keep some for seed. So we're going to keep this giant bottle gourd for seeds for next year and that will give us plenty of seeds this is such a giant it's not even a giant it's humongous it's humongous there's another one here behind it now i think we're going to harvest these courgette. beautiful looking uh courgette all right let me let me tr see if i can okay that's one wow little cheeky slug one all right, there's another one there. Just turn it, twist it. That's two. All right. Now, let's harvest some squash. We haven't had a great season for squash, but I can't complain, we have a few. We have a few, yes. What, what are these called, Akiv? Um, Sweet dumpling squash. Oh, these, these are, are the sweet, sweet dumplings. Okay, let's see if this, just turn it and break it no. up. Yes, it just comes off. Whoa. All right. Little baby squashes. Yeah, these are called sweet dumpling squash. They're beautiful. They're, they're very sweet. There's we have one another here. one over there. All right. So these are easy to harvest. Just twist them. Turn them. That's it. That's the second one. All right. Now, let's find this anymore. Yes, another one here. Yep. The plants are dying now. It's coming to the end of the season. We haven't had a great season in the UK this year. But, mashallah, I can't complain. The amount of vegetable we are harvesting is not bad. Now, I'm a bit disappointed with this plant. It hasn't, it's a big plant, but it hasn't given us um, a fruit yet. But I guess what? There's one fruit <laughs> trying to escape. <laughs> it's, going, it's going outside. Let's Let go show check you. it out. So, it's trying to climb out. It's trying Whoa, to escape. He's <laughs> trying to escape. All right. So I think we're going to leave this one on the plant for another week or so before we harvest this one. So not bad, Akib. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Beautiful looking lettuce. Um, I think I'll let your mum harvest all this. Now there is a kira hiding here somewhere. Oh, I see it. That's a Deshi Kira. It's there. over there. Okay. And, uh, I think, let me try if I can reach that. It's there you go. tricky. All right, hold on. Hold on. Watch out. All right. Just. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a matured Kira. It's going to taste delicious with your cucumber and fish curry. It's going to taste delicious. Yeah, mature heroes, we, we cook them with our curry. They taste really nice, a bit tangy, uh, beautiful. All right, so it's my turn to harvest a lot of naga chilies, lots of uh, Trinidad scorpion, lots of uh, finger chilies. Shall we do that? Yes, let's do this. Can you manage, Akif? It's so heavy. <laughs> Whoa, this is really this heavy. Is heavy yeah. Yeah. Now, let's show you some amazing chili growing in London backyard. Now, these are chocolate naga, naga chilies. Now, look at, look at the amount of chilies that I have in one plant. And this is so satisfying. It's amazing. 
Well, wow, we've got so many chilies. So there's just so many chilies plant. in just one plant, and I have more than 100 chili plants in our garden. So these are the chocolate chili plant. Now let's move on to the. Dad, I've never tried these chilies. So do you know if they taste slightly sweeter than uh, normal naga? No, no. These these are chocolate naga, so they taste uh, they they smell the same. Um, I think they don't. They're not as hot as the naga chilies. Oh, okay. But um, these are the sco um, Trinidad scorpion. The spice, one of the spices. One of the spiciest chili in the world. Now, if you're wondering what we would do with all these chilies, some will keep for seeds for next year. Others will be making plenty of akir nagachar, nakapiko, with using a fresh garden nagas. So we'll be making plenty of achar with it. And chili sauces. And chili sauces. Now, this is the bad boy, naga, the naga chili. It is famous for its fragrance and its heat. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yep. So many. Now look at these different chilies. Finger chilies. These are one of my favorites, actually. These are not so hard. These are, I think, Kenyan chilies. Uh, these are quite long green chilies. They're quite nice. I really like these chilies with my rice. It yeah. adds some extra space, um, spice into it. Oh, oh these are Trinidad scorpion. My favorite, extremely hot. So we'll be keeping some for seed. These ones we'll be keeping for seed for next year. And we're going to be making lots of Akif Nagacha. You should try our Nagacha. It's one of the best Nagacha you've ever tried. Harvesting naga chilies or Trinidad scorpion or Carolina Ripper or any chilies for that matter, use gloves. These are some of the hottest chilies in the world. Now, I'm, I've been harvesting chilies for many years now, so uh, I'm okay. So please, look at this bad boy. Whoa, that looks so spicy. Yes, it is one of the hottest chilies in the world. So make sure to wear gloves. You don't want to touch your eyes you when harvesting eyes chilies. I'm pretty experienced with harvesting chilies. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to like our videos. And please don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. And don't forget to leave us a comment letting us know how you are finding our videos. Stay safe, assalamu alaikum, and until then I'll see you in the next one. If you want to know how to grow vegetables that we harvested today, the chilies that we harvested today, the aubergine, the bottle gourd, bitter gourd, snake gourd, um, you should definitely consider subscribing to our channel and you should check some of the videos that we made we showed you how to grow them how to plant them from seed to harvest happy gardening assalamu alaikum and i'll see you in the next one